Hopefully I don't get in trouble for this one. <laughs> Hey, what's up you guys? It's Kaia. If you're new here, welcome. Um, this is my second video of 2019. I'm very excited. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm in a new room. If you guys don't follow me on Snap, then you guys didn't see me moving my stuff from one hall to, the, to another. So yeah, I'm moving from this dorm to this dorm. And I'm tired. This is like the fifth round. I just had to bring over like oh my god I'm officially moved in over here and all settled I am gonna vamp up this room a little bit get and uh, get some more decorations so I, so I can do a room tour for you guys but for right now I'm gonna do a story time and um, hopefully I don't get in trouble for this one <laughs> so up until recently I was living in a suite in that dorm which meant I had Basically three. I, I was living with three people. Um, two people on on each side of the on each side of the room. One of the people that I was living with had issues cleaning up. If you're in college or going to college, you have to understand that some people don't have the same home training that you might have. And so, say um, say you were taught that when you get water all over a counter, you're supposed to wipe off the counter, right? not leave it some people learn that lesson some people don't but anyways they didn't want to clean up clean up after themselves if one of us asked her to she would get all agitated with us and be like <sighs> yeah like whatever like breathing all hard it's just having an attitude for no reason and um one of my, my my other one of my other sweet mates expressed to me that she had seen roaches in their room like one or two one off like you kill it you move on but anybody that knows roaches and how they operate is that if there's one there's more right and so um i'll take you guys back to last semester so last semester leading up to thanksgiving break you know we keep there's a continuation of seeing a roach in the room. The other girl, when she would kill a roach, she would just like kill it and like leave, leave like the mess behind. You you know what I'm saying? Like on the wall or something, and that's disgusting. Anybody that knows when you kill a bug, you wipe it up. You don't leave that to. Ugh, ugh, I can't like. Out. It just it just infuriates me every single time. It just makes me so disgusted. I am disgusted you better talk to her before i do because i'm already feeling but um yeah anybody that knows knows better right and um so around thanksgiving break um the person i was living with that had issues with cleaning left before everybody else and um that was when my other sweet mate decided to call an exterminator into the room and basically the exterminator said that um, he was looking around you know moving moving things he went to the he went to the other girl's side of the room moving stuff pulling out boxes from under her bed seeing roaches scurry out of that you know and then um, he says these these cockroaches are not native to New Orleans like they they were brought they were brought into the room which means to us that when sis packed up all her stuff to move in to college, she also brought roaches with her. Then he goes to the fridge, and the, like, the fridge was in the center of the room. One half of another person's space, another half somebody else's space. Um, and the fridge was, if the fridge belonged to the person that just doesn't want to clean up. And um, she would go in and out of that fridge every day. So it's really, it's very obvious that she 
knew about this and just said nothing, did nothing, and allowed and allowed this to happen. Okay? I'm just it's all facts. She allowed this to happen. Um so the <laughs> the exterminator moves the fridge. There were so many roaches living under the fridge. I'm I'm itching thinking about it. This is I'm not I'm not trying to be dramatic. Like I really don't like bugs. Anybody that knows me knows I will not even kill a spider. I hate bugs with a passion. Like imagine imagine there's a whole colony of roaches and then multiply that because they multiply. Multiply, multiply, multiply. Money add then multiply. I call it math for math math. After that, he we had had to get our entire place sprayed. We had to he killed he killed all of them, thank God, and sprayed the entire suite. And um and sprayed and sprayed their room and the living room. Luckily, no roaches ever came to into my room. But I'm like, hey, that's 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 right across this little living room area. That ain't that ain't enough. If they had, honestly, if they had gotten out of the room, it would have been over. They would have been everywhere, and I really would have, I would have had to burn everything. I'm like a roach probably touches, I have to burn it. Like, period. That was right when Thanksgiving break was about to start. And then when we all came back, my first thought was, is she gonna bring more with her? Unknowingly, knowingly, I don't know. I don't know the situation. Like, how do you how do you have bugs in your suitcases and in your boxes and then you don't know about it? Like, I feel like you would know that as you were unpacking the box. She comes back, we like we, we all come back. And I make a point to say, like, hey, um, I know you know that we had this situation in the suite, and I just want to make sure that we don't have this problem again. And of course, with the attitude coming at me saying, yeah, I know you guys don't want any more roaches. Sis, we never wanted them in the first place. You should want that for yourself. But. I am not about to. I think what infuriates me most is when somebody has an attitude with me and they have no right to have an attitude. Like, you're the one, like, the situation was because of you. So why have an attitude with uh, with me or anybody else when we make, when we try to make sure we don't have an issue like this, like, like that ever again? Like, anyway, I just... I can't. I can't. And um and honestly, when basically when you leave home, you're grown. At least you should be grown enough to know better, to know what to know what you need to do, to know what you shouldn't be doing, you know? So especially on a hygienic level, because <sighs> It is absolutely not okay to infest a space where you live with three other people with cockroaches of all the nastiest things in the world. Freaking cockroaches. So as, as soon as, so by Christmas break, oh also keep in mind he, the policy here at Xavier is you have to clean out your fridge and unplug it and do everything else before you leave for Christmas break. You're going to be gone a month, right? So you have to act accordingly. Shorty didn't even clean out her fridge. She just left. And I don't know if she, if she turned it off. If so, that's a month month's worth of food you had in your fridge gone bad. And going to attract gnats, maybe more roaches, who freaking knows. It's just nasty. So right before the semester ended, I made sure to put in a haul to haul transfer and I just, and it's very rare that those get approved here just because they don't want to do a whole lot of moving around of people, which I definitely understand, but I just needed to get out of there. I, f I just, I needed to get out of there. And by the grace of God, here I am in a whole different room. <laughs> There's no bugs to be found. I don't have to worry about it. Nobody's crazy dirty and all is well in the world. So, yeah. <laughs>
I hope you guys enjoyed this disgusting story. Um, <laughs> if you did, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to, the, to my channel. We're almost at 60 subscribers, so thank you so much to everybody that is already subscribed and who will be subscribed after they watch this video. And um, I, yeah, I decided that once I hit 100, I will be doing a giveaway. So, um, the sooner that happens, the sooner the giveaway happens, so be sure to look out for that, and I'll see you guys next week with a brand new video. Bye!